Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a stunning website with WordPress. I'm sure that both complete beginners and more advanced users will find this video beneficial. My name is Victor and I'm the founder of Divimundo.com. I started designing and selling websites back in the 90s, but it wasn't until 2005 that I discovered WordPress and I understood that this is a real revolution. Suddenly everyone could build their own beautiful websites. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create your own website step by step. And we will be learning by doing, so we will create the case website for the fictitious company The Divi Crib. I will show you how to design it from scratch without using standard templates that your competitors already are using. You can follow along and download all the resources during this tutorial. We will use WordPress which is behind more than 40% of all websites and we'll use the world's most popular WordPress theme Divi which comes with an amazing visual page builder. But we'll start from scratch, so I will walk you through what you need and how you can work on a slim budget. We will register a domain and a web hosting account for your website. Then we will install WordPress and your theme. Then it's time for my favorite part, and that's creating stunning design and content. This is the demo website that we're going to create throughout this tutorial. And uh, we have a global header in top with some social media links and a call to action button to the right. We have our navigation with the site logo and we have our navigation bar with some sub links to our blog post category pages. If we scroll down, you can see that the menu or the header is sticky. And of course, everything is mobile optimized and fully responsive. So let's scroll down to take a look at the page design. We have this nice hero area with the divider shape in the bottom. We have these blurbs with a nice hover effect. A classic image to the left, text to the right area. Our testimonial slider that will slide on forever and ever. We list the three latest news posts on our website in this blog grid. We have a classic call to action area with a subtle background image with an icon, text and a call to action button. We'll also brag with our client logos and add a nice hover effect as well. And we have the bottom with a full width image and our global footer. And we will add a dynamic current year to this footer so that will be automatically updated each year and we will use the Divi Builder for that. Okay, so we'll click this one to get back to the top and we will go on to the About Us page. So this is where we describe the fictitious company, the Divi Crib. We have the hero area and then we have nice counter modules animated and we'll describe the history of the company in two columns. Then we have a big area with some blurbs uh, listing our products and services on a subtle background. And then we have the most important resources for the company and that's the employees. So I put some extra effort into making them beautiful with some hover effects like this. And then we recycle the logos from our favorite clients. Let's head on to the news page or the blog page. So if we scroll down, we can see a sidebar to the right with some post search, some links to our categories and some social media links. Then we have all the posts in date order. We have the featured image, the title, the publish date, the category. We have an excerpt and a read more button. And while we add it, we can actually click one of these posts to look at the post template that we are creating in the Divi theme builder. So here we can see the post category, the dynamic post title and the dynamic published date. Also the featured image will be displayed as a background here. And this will all be created in the Divi theme builder. We have the blog content and we have our sidebar. 
and then we show related content which also will be injected dynamically via the Divi theme builder. Okay, we also have some category pages and they will also be designed and created in the Divi theme builder. So here's the category page for inspiration and we have a category page for cases. And while we add it, we can also look at the page template for the search page results. So let's say that I search for sustain. I will find all the blog posts containing sustain in one or another form like this one, sustainability. So this is also a global template from the, from the Divi theme builder. And we have the contact us page. This one is an important page. So we will be build a beautiful minimalistic contact form with the Divi form module. And we also add this checkbox for the privacy policy, where we will link also to the privacy policy like this. And we will protect our form from spam with Google reCAPTCHA version 3. So I will guide you through that as well. We will have some contact information here and uh, below that we will display a frequently asked questions with toggles that you can expand like this. And below that we will embed a Google Maps map uh, and we will do that with a simple setup without having to use any Google API or anything like that. And we have one more template that I want to show you and that's the 404 page. So if I go to a URL that does not exist, we will have this nice 404 page. So that's the scope of this tutorial. So let's head into the first chapter. Mm -hmm.